Well, folks, with the recent Terra leak, we got a few confirmations out there, and one of them has to do with Nintendo Switch 2, and that confirmation has seemingly confirmed something else related to the Legend of Zelda series on Nintendo Switch 2. That's right, we have a good idea of a upcoming Zelda remake, remaster, whatever Nintendo ends up calling it, for the Nintendo Switch 2. It is something we have covered before in the past, but now with this new additional information, information it sure seems that this is happening on nintendo switch 2 now before we dive into this i want to remind you if you're enjoying this video and you want to stay up to date on everything regarding nintendo all you have to do is tune in right here at nintendo prime subscribe to the channel help us get to 140k now let's go ahead and give some credit here to some bro nation uh he pointed this out in a video earlier today and i just couldn't help but talk about it myself because in the end i love the legend of zelda franchise and for some reason my brain pathways were not putting this connection together even though it should have so one thing that we had confirmed from that unfortunate leak from game freak is that the code name for nintendo switch 2 is indeed ounce now this matters for a number of reasons because there's been a lot of rumors swirling around nintendo switch 2 for a while and some of those rumors have to do with ounce but what does this have to do with a zelda remake or remaster well this is where we have to go all the way back to a now defunct account in midori midori was a tier one level leaker uh, although obviously some stuff happened and that account ended up going away they might be back as ryan from the bronx we're not 100 percent sure that is the same person it seems like it might be but who really knows uh but they had a number of leaks towards the end of their run that dealt with nintendo code names and a bunch of those code names have bared fruit one example is edward we speculated that edward was probably related to a zelda game but we could imagine what the zelda game could be well it turned out it was echoes of wisdom we now know that echoes of wisdom is indeed the code name edward which works really really well with the code name that happens to be for link's awakening too so that's pretty interesting but that wasn't the only nintendo code name out there another one thrown out there was banquet we had speculated at the time that it might be mario party related and now that mario party jamboree has graced our presence today we're now fully aware thanks to data mining that mario party jamboree's code name is indeed banquet so again midori was a tier one leaker all the code names seem to be checking out over time so this is where we have to go back to a code name that was put out there that we already had a little bit of context for and that of course is you king O. now at the time that you king O was put out we already knew that you dash king was the code name for breath of the wild that's been known since 2017 right that's not new information but the o was a new thing and at the time there was a lot of speculation that this could be a 4k thing related to the gamescom breath of the wild demo that supposedly had no load times and had a little bit of ray tracing and all that uh, and was in 4k and 60 fps so that was one of the showcase games nintendo supposedly used behind the scenes to show developers what the nintendo switch 2 is capable of now to remember this was not being put on an actual switch 2 dev unit they were using pc target specs for what the switch is so it was running on pc but with the target range of what the switch 2 is capable of okay cool that's all stuff that has been widely reported on a little bit refuted by shintaro furakawa he didn't refute that exact part but he did refute that they were showing things running on switch 2 hardware because again they weren't showing things on switch 2 hardware the original report was target specs on a pc which again furakawa never disputed that he disputed the whole they actually had like demo hardware you know at at, at gamescom which they didn't have that's not what the reports claimed there were some people who misreported it at the time that's where the confusion came from but that's neither here nor there the point is that's an old thing from 2023 at gamescom fast forward now you king o and we kind of figured well maybe that's just a reference to the demo and we leave it at that but what does that o part mean now it was speculated back about five six months ago that o was related to the code name of switch 2 but we weren't sure well now you fast forward and we have ounce that's right ounces out there and so now that o part seemingly means ounce so you king o reference to breath of the wild on nintendo switch 2. uh that is just wild man if we if we step back and think about it why do we think that this actually means this game's coming out and it's not just the demo well Nintendo has a history with these dash code names at the end of it being a new version of a game on a new platform. All we had to do is look back to, thank you, by the way, to some row nation for pointing this out, Mario Kart. So Mario Kart 8 on Wii U was called Turbo. 
Mario Kart 8 Deluxe on Nintendo Switch was called Turbo S. S seemingly standing for Switch. So O seemingly standing for Ounce for you, King O. You can kind of see what we're going with. Now, when we talk about the idea of Breath of the Wild in 4K on Nintendo Switch 2, it's very interesting because that is a game not too far back, right? 2017, not even a decade old if it comes out next year. Now, if it doesn't come out for a few years, then it hits that decade mark. But it is interesting that they're, they might consider bringing this out and putting this on Nintendo Switch 2. What would be the reason for this? Are they really going to charge $70 for it? And I think there's one maybe defendable reason for it, and it would be Nintendo wanting to show the stark contrast difference between Nintendo Switch 2 and the original Nintendo Switch with a side-by-side -side of the exact same game. You could show it to consumers in a presentation. You can let the fans go wild, and it would kind of just show how far their new Switch is going in comparison to the old one. Now, again, you have a fully optimized game in full 4K. You rock it at 60 FPS. You throw in ray tracing and better shadows and everything else. And you know what? Maybe a little bit of extra content, maybe some more content that helps connect Breath of the Wild to Tears of the Kingdom a little better. And all of a sudden, you have a definitive experience of the game that people might double dip for and might think is worth $60 to $70. Now, I'm not saying that this is like the best thing to do obviously with backwards compatibility likely being on the table you could just play breath of the wild on your switch too and some people might go well maybe we should just offer a ten dollar or twenty dollar upgrade path and maybe nintendo does offer that we don't really know how they're going to deliver this version of the game but i think that the purpose of it would be to show hey this is what switch was doing at launch this is what switch 2 can now do with a direct side-by-side -side comparison especially if the big launch game for nintendo is mario it's going to be really hard to do a direct comparison to launch of switch with a mario game when mario wasn't at launch of switch so i do think that there is some merit here for nintendo trying to justify a remaster a remake of breath of the wild it also means they probably should do it to tears of the kingdom as well just to kind of round it all out even though you know is the audience for a breath of the wild 4k still 10 million plus that i don't know maybe there are 10 million plus uh, zelda fans out there that would want to buy this uh to play natively on switch 2 so maybe you know it's just easy money for nintendo i mean look they're already remaking you know games like Link's awakening and, and they did hd versions of skyward sword and all of those games sell between four to six million uh, breath of the wild ceiling as a 4k remaster uh might actually be higher than that so uh it's hard to know because again breath of the wild's never been re-released before so we're not really sure how well the audio the how, how much the audience retention exists from that original release but i guess uh we, we'd have to find out now i would actually be all for this if it's paired with tears of the kingdom because then if you do a 70 dollars package of breath of the wild and tears of the kingdom at 4k i think that's actually an incredible value especially since tears of the kingdom isn't even that old of a game but that's neither here nor there. I don't think Nintendo's going to treat it that way. They're going to release these games individually. Now, this does kind of poo-poo on the idea of the Wind Waker and Twilight Princess HD coming out. And the fact that we didn't get any code name leaks that are specific to those games is kind of telling that maybe at one point Nintendo was working on these years ago, and then they just kind of full stopped and said, you know what, we're not going to do that right now. And I do think those games have a chance to come back on Switch too, but... Should we really be starting the speculation train on Wind Waker and Twilight Princess HD, or in this case, 4K, again, every year, 40th anniversary? I, I just, I kind of feel like we have to, at some point, wait for there to be some real hints that this stuff is happening. Uh, but, hey, we do actually have real hints for Breath of the Wild. We have Codename with the U King O. We have the ounce. We have the reports from Gamescom. It all kind of lines up where Nintendo would probably end up releasing this at some point during the launch year. I would think probably close to launch again because the one thing it does do is show how far the current technology is compared to the old. Getting a st getting a solid 60 FPS at 4K with ray tracing and other improvements could end up just being a big boon for the game. You better draw distance and how about like hardly any pop in would just be um, amazing feats for the Nintendo Switch 2 just to show that hey look this is what it was back then this is what it could be today now imagine what our next big Zelda game is going to be like I don't know I'm just throwing that out there uh, because there's a lot of evidence now suggesting that this is something that's in the works and with a demo being at Gamescom last year it's kind of like yeah this could be a year one game maybe even a potential launch game alongside Mario I think if you're going to release a, a remaster remake like this it can make sense to do it at launch alongside a Mario game because it wouldn't be the definitive reason you buy the system but it's one of those hey I bought Mario Maybe it's time for me to revisit Breath of the Wild.
see what it's all about. I don't know. I'm just throwing it out there. You guys let me know what you think about this down in the comments below. I am Nathaniel Rubble Jads from Nintendo Prime. I want to thank you so much for tuning in. We'll be live again tonight around 7.30, 8 p.m. Central. Uh, we got a lot of stuff to go over, a lot of stuff to talk about. Uh, there's also potentially like a little smidge of new information about Switch 2 from the Terra leak. It's not something that I, I, I think is quite video worthy yet unless it leads to somewhere else, but it is definitely noteworthy. And we'll go over that tonight and probably next week on the podcast as well. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for being here. I'll catch you in the next video.